Hey guys, Brian Hilliard here, author of the best-selling book, Networking Like a Pro, and creator of the popular program, How to Start Getting Three or More Paid Speaking Gigs a Year. Now today, I want to talk about what I think is the second biggest hurdle or roadblock or challenge that's holding people back um, in terms of getting paid speaking engagements and actually getting out there and, and getting started. Because I know for me, one of the bigger problems that I faced was, you know, I was going out there and I was, you know, I felt like I had good stuff. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm speaking, I was doing some stuff for free and all that other stuff. But the problem that I faced was that I just didn't think it was easy enough to do. Like I thought getting paid to speak was something where you had to be like this five-time New York Times best-selling author, Tom Clancy or something. Otherwise, people weren't going to bring you in to speak and that couldn't have been further from the truth. As a matter of fact, getting paid to speak, um, if you're competent and if you get on people's radars and there's some things that you have to do, okay, to be able to do that. But, but man, once you're able to do that, it is like people are beating a path to your door and getting three or more paid speaking engagements a year is totally not as much of a problem as people think. But today I want to talk about the second biggest roadblock or challenge that people have in terms of getting paid to speak and that is quite simply finding the time to actually make it happen. All right, so here's the deal. Let me unpack that a little bit. A lot of people are service practitioners, right? You're a coach, you're a consultant, you might be a lawyer or an accountant. Um, you might be, I don't know, some, something, something other than a professional speaker in the sense of that's all you do. You have some other things. So for me, I'm a coach. Okay, so what happens is when you're just getting started or you're trying to ramp up and you're trying to have a conversation about getting, you know, three or more paid speaking gigs or whatever, there's a time issue. Like you're thinking to yourself, I'm speaking for myself, but I think I can speak for others where it's like, geez, you know, I need to be coaching and I know that I need to be getting paid speaking gigs and I want to get paid speaking gigs, but like the coaching's the one that's paying the mortgage and the mortgage is not paying itself. So what I want to talk a little bit about is how you can find that time when you're getting started and being able to do that. Couple things. The first thing is just real straightforward you have to make it a priority, all right? You have to be like, listen, I wanna get paid to speak. I wanna start getting more paid speaking gigs. I know that it's gonna to have to, you know, there's gonna be some push and pull in terms of what I'm doing now for me coaching, uh, which is bringing in money versus maybe getting started speaking, which is not, totally get that, but I'm making that a priority because it's something that I want to do. That is first and foremost, non-negotiable. If you don't do that, you will not win. All right. Second thing though that you need to do that I would do, you don't have to, but I, it's been helpful for me, is I actually put it in my calendar, all right? So for me, what I do is when I'm doing my speaking time and I start looking at it like that, I have time that I spend during the week for coaching and time that I spend during the week for speaking. And let's call it 80-20, okay? So if there's 50 hours, I might say 10 hours is probably a little bit too much, but just for conversation, even numbers, okay? 80, 20, 50 hours during the week, 40 hours I spend for my coaching, you know, and five to 10 hours uh, speaking, right? Proposals, calling, uh, working on my website, you know, editing stuff, whatever, okay? What I had to do was I actually put it in my calendar. I have Google Calendar um, and I put it in red, actually. So all of this is my name, you know, my naming convention. I have my regular stuff in blue. I have my vacations in green. I have my travel in yellow and I have my speaking in red. Okay. So for me, I find making calls. So when I first was getting started, it was early in the morning because I was building up my website. I was doing stuff that I didn't, you know, it's first thing, right? I didn't need to be on the phone talking to people. Now I still do it, even though I've built out stuff. Now I just have it in the later in the day. So like I'll have usually between nine and 10 or even nine and 11 or sometimes nine and 12 as I'm starting to do more West Coast gigs. I, I do more East Coast just because the travel is easier for me, but I've been branching out more West Coast. So between between, let's just say nine and 11, okay? Because that includes mountain time. I will start, I will have it on my calendar in red speaking. That might mean physically making calls. That might mean doing research for conferences. That might mean I, I actually, there's a website that I'm a part of that I look at that I'm a subscription member to. All kinds of doing research, like I said, okay? All kinds of things to be able to help me be successful with that. But I found when I actually put it on the calendar and it doesn't happen every day. Like I'll put, I don't do it Mondays usually, but Tuesdays and Wednesdays I usually do, you know, and sometimes Fridays. And sometimes I'm, I have to bump it. Oh man, I'm not gonna be able to do it today, but let me see if I can do it later on. Totally, totally.
totally fine. But when you do that, let me tell you what, it will be, after you've made the priority, you will see it on the calendar and you'll be like, okay, well, let me knock out a half hour or let me knock out an hour or let me knock out two hours and you will slowly but surely get to where you want to go. All right, so that will help you deal with what I think is the second biggest challenge um, that most people have when it comes to getting started to getting paid to speak. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that's something that you can see yourself doing. But in the meantime, my name is Brian Hilliard saying so long, take care, and thanks so much for your time.